So in this video, I just want to quickly highlight some of the key benefits of taking maca root. Maca root is an adaptogen uh, found in Peru, and it is probably one of the best herbs for balancing the endocrine system. <coughs> I cannot even begin to explain the miraculous results that I have seen in other people, and also in myself, uh, from taking maca root. Uh, for example, uh, one of my close friends was having irregular period cycles and she was asking me what she could do uh, to, you know, make her periods, you know, regulate out, to regulate her period cycle and make her have periods, a period every month. And, <clears throat> of course, uh, for me, I recommended maca root, you know, because maca root is the best herb for regulating the menstrual cycle uh, and for all female and male hormonal imbalances and of course periods and menstrual cycles uh, the regulation with the period is caused by uh, estrogen imbalances so I told I told my friend uh, you know go ahead and get you some high quality maca root I recommended the maca root uh, by now foods uh, there's a lot of great testimonials uh, on, mock, on that brand of mock root, and I've used that brand of mock root myself. Long story short, um, you know, my friend reported back to me saying, you know, within two months uh, she had um, her period each time, you know, in a consistent time uh, since taking mock root, and now it's been six months, and every month she's had her period. So, uh, mock root definitely regulated her damn period. And then I had a friend who uh, was trying to conceive a child for years, and she was diagnosed infertile by her doctor. But then within two months of taking maca root, uh, she got pregnant. Now, you know, some people might think, oh, well, it's just a coincidence, you know. Uh, what, how do, you know, what if it was just like, you know, a coincidence or whatever? What if it wasn't the maca root? But the truth is it was the maca root. <laughs> All right, you know, it, people, women, don't just go from being infertile to all of a sudden fertile, you know what I mean? For years they're infertile and all of a sudden, miraculously, randomly, they become fertile. That just doesn't happen. So, uh, maca root is good to boost fertility and that's also one of its main traditional benefits as well, is uh, boosting fertility. Okay, I myself have, uh, you know, I sperm bucket loads uh, taking high quality maca root every day and I have gotten a girl pregnant when I really didn't want to, so I can definitely testify it boosts fertility, but then again, I shouldn't be infertile in the first place. Um, <clears throat> so for me personally, maca root uh, has boosted my energy levels. Uh, it, 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 I believe that it's been increasing my weight loss. I had thought that uh, my low carb diet was, was what was causing me to get ripped as fuck without you know really trying so much to restrict my foods, but I'm starting to think it was the maca root. Maca root bursts, uh, whoops, maca root boosts your thyroid hormone function, and when you have a, uh, a high functioning thyroid gland, your metabolism is running at full throttle. And when your metabolism is high, and you're able to burn off more calories a lot more efficiently, you have more energy and you're able to lose weight effortlessly. I believe the maca root uh, is largely uh, to th give credit to for these results that I've experienced. Um, maca root makes me extremely horny. That's another traditional usage for maca root. And uh, certain types of maca, all right? Uh, for example, this one I'm taking right now by Gaia Herbs uh, helps me feel really relaxed and I feel like it boosts my uh, circulation throughout the body. Uh, this one, this blend does include holy basil leaf extract, but I do not believe that that's what's causing the boost of circulation and the relaxation. Because I do take holy basil on a daily basis um, in capsule form before I go to bed. Uh, this blend also contains carotamon seed powder, allspice, cinnamon, ginger, vanilla, um, and a couple other spices in it. Uh, supposedly for flavoring, because uh, it's vanilla chai flavor. Uh, but all of these herbs that are in, that I just listed that are included in the blend, you know, carotamol, allspice, cinnamon, they also have testosterone boosting properties and um, they can also be to blame for the increase in circulation. However, 
Um, this so far is one of my favorite maca brands and also maca blends. This is a gelatinized maca root as well, so it's easier to digest. It's better to buy the gelatinized maca because you know maca root is a, like a, a tuber vegetable, and you really shouldn't be eating uh, roots or tubers raw. Okay, no one just goes and takes a big bite out of a potato. Um, however. You know, so I've had great results taking a, a raw maca myself. So, you know, you just experiment around, try different things. Different types of maca have different benefits. But uh, by brand rather than by type, I can tell you what works. And uh, now foods, that's great for boosting women's fertility and balancing out their uh, menstrual cycles and boosting fertility in general and also increasing your sex drive. Um, this one definitely increases my semen volume, helps me relax, and I feel like this gives me sexual stamina. Whereas the maca root by now foods, I feel like it makes me more aggressive. So uh, this is just, you know, the first part in the series of my maca talk, I suppose I should call it a series, because uh, I really love maca root and uh, my friends and family and my uh, they've been telling me, you know, for the past couple months, all I talk about is maca root. And, well, there's a reason why. is because maca root is one of the uh, most amazing herbs that I've ever, you know, taken. You know, so, yeah. And as a side note to all of these motherfuckers who, you know, talk shit about herbal medicine, you guys are missing the fuck out. Y'all don't know what you're missing. Like, life is so much better when you can enhance your well-being with tonic herbs. I have no need for pharmaceutical medications and I don't see why everyone else, you know, is so gung-ho about mainstream medicine. It's nothing special. It's killing you. <laughs> so leave your questions and comments down below. Um, you know, hope that you guys enjoy this new series I'm creating because, you know, I'm going to just, I need to start making videos and putting my creativity out there, putting my ideas out there. And uh, shit's just been real hectic lately, so, you know, it's not going to come out perfect, but, you know, I'm just going to do what the fuck I want to do, because it's my channel, so fuck anyone who doesn't want it. So, leave your questions in the comments down below. If you have any questions, go ahead and ask me. I'll be happy to make a video response. Um, comment, like, subscribe, and hit me up on my Facebook, Wolfgang B. Lozana, Alyssa Health. Ami Tofo.